Hello guys, this is Lana from Highlight Your Wrinkles Photography and today I would like to share with you some tips how to edit babies into the digital background. I've chosen three different baby positions that are most common when baby lying her back, laying on her belly and on, hands under her chin. Also, I've chosen three different back, uh, backdrops for lying her belly, for uh, hands under the chin, and also lying on her back. All right, let's start with the baby that lying on her back. For this, for this baby, I would like to use this, this background that has four in it. And since I have a four in it, so we can use just random selection. All right, and now I'm gonna use selected mask and I'll make it bigger and just randomly make those harsh edges perfectly, that could be perfectly fit in our background. All right, now move the baby over here. Of course, baby is too big since I have already have my a tool that I can uh, transform controls. You can have uh, it on if you have a move tool or you can go to edit, free transform or control uh, T. All right, Hold, by holding shift key, drag the baby so it's fit this little circle that is ready for her to be there. All right, I think this is perfect. We can just turn the baby maybe a little, little more, maybe a tiny more. All right, hit all right, hit okay. And now I'm gonna use a mask with a black brush. I would like to remove all unwanted background that left after the previous background, okay? This is before, this is after. We haven't changed much. Okay, let's change opacity to 20 or 30. Let's do 20. And now, get closer to the baby. And remove a little extra background. So I like to use shade from previous background, this is, which is over here. So that's why I'm very careful just to pass it to 20, but it's gonna help Oops, over there. All right, since baby is white and the background, it's a little creamy. So uh, let's go back to our color balance and move so to change baby up to a little yellowish uh, to blend with the background. If you want, I don't want it. I like the attention when babies, it's visible. Invert and then just use it on a baby with a full opacity of, so now it's perfectly uh, fit in the background. All right. Go ahead and uh, flatten the image and you can just enjoy your beautiful creation. All right, the second, uh, the second type of the baby, uh, the second position of the baby is when baby lying her, on her uh, belly. All right, in this case, we're gonna select the baby carefully, make sure you pick up all the hair and you pick up all the fingers toes over here everything so make sure ears are there sometimes uh, automatic um, selection can miss that so make sure mama for sure wanted her uh, her ears and her hand baby's hand so make sure you have all of it and then select I like to pick up all the hair that was left on the background Make sure you have it. And let's do, I don't like to use this on a back. I like it smooth like it is. I like to use it on a fabric. 
maybe tiny bit over there just to pick up this shade and over here i like this for a little little for fourish all right and now i would like to use this not that i like to use this bed so drop baby over here hold shift key and transport the baby by holding the edge all right i like it a little smaller i like this little bump so we can just perfectly fit baby over there all right hit okay as usual put the mask tool and remove all unwanted background that left from previous background all right all right i love how it is i love this little fourth thing maybe we'll remove this purplish i love the shade okay now since it's a little back so i would like to use smash smash tool i'm going back to the baby and i smash so it's a little blurry blur i don't like it too in focus oops since this not in focus so of course we want we don't want that too much in focus all right i love it it fit perfectly you can just uh flatten the image and voila all right and our okay that was our and now let's select the baby that on her, uh staying on her laying on her hands select we're gonna work we're gonna work on that beautiful hair i want it all i want it all so i'm gonna pick up by using the mask select and mask tool all right i don't like this bluish background so make sure you don't have it okay and maybe over there make sure you have the ears both ears and hands and fingers all right now let's move the baby to our background which is this cup all right holding shift key transfer baby into this little small little small tiny beautiful girl what i like to use here it's two things first of all the baby was transformed uh transferred from a colder background such as this and this is the lighter background much more warmer so we will use a couple a uh, couple of different methods okay first of all before i apply um, this mask i would like to pick up this elbow since it's kind of too big as on me hold Control shift x or liquify tool wow all right and i would like to pick up this elbow a little bit pull it a little bit closer to the baby all right cool now uh let's use mask black brush we don't want of course we don't need this let's use a little bit harder brush all right we don't need that okay so good so far so good go back to this hardness and let's adjust over here all right uh, i have this beautiful brush you can uh, find this online uh, i'm not sure if i can find the link okay this is the four brush you can type in google four and there is a website they can they share that's for free or for personal use so this you can just download them 
If they ask you to give credit, please do. All right. Cool. Also, uh, I would like to go back to the baby and your smudge tool. Since this is blur, we make this uh, ear a little blur, hair a little blurish. So it's not too much. So we don't want it to focus. We don't want it to be visible that it was baby was transferred from somewhere to some somewhere. All right, we we, we need it as much natural as it is. Okay, okay. Since uh, her uh, her face pick up a little too much blue and gold tones. And as I mentioned before, we have to give a little warmth to the baby, invert, go back, and, or you could, could use just, instead of inverting, you could just use uh, clipping mask by holding a, a alt key and just clip it to the previous layer. All right, so before, as you see, after before after so we we want this yellow look as 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 a background uh, to complement the background and to fit perfectly in the background all right make sure uh the baby's uh clothes if she wears some so match it with the flower in case you don't want to change anything from her you can change the, the flower color in the photoshop uh so to any different color for example if you want to match she's wearing something blue uh, or purple, purple will match with orange, but something different, for example, green, of course, will not match, or will match those flowers. So make sure it's complement, the color complement each other. Make sure the full image is complete, all right? So go ahead and flatten the image, and I think that's done, perfectly done, beautifully. Thank you again for watching us, and if you like our backdrops, backgrounds, beautiful newborn backgrounds, uh, go ahead and check our um, store on Etsy. It's called Svetlana Vronska. I'll put a link down uh, under this video. Svetlana Vronska Art, actually. And um, thank you again for watching. And I hope this helped. And, and that's it for today. Bye-bye.